Let's practice inserting data in cells and ranges in Excel 2013. We have this file here you can download from sdrv.ms slash capital J X capital N capital J capital O capital M. So once you have this file, let's click on column A and drag to column B, right click and go to delete. So we deleted the two columns. We're going to delete this row one by right by hovering over the number one, right click and go to delete. Now the nice thing to know about Excel is that when you highlight a certain range, you're actually copying control C, you're copying the information and the data as well as the formatting. So if I were to paste here in A8, you can see that you still have the nice shaded uh, titles here as well as if you click over the the formulas the formulas is referring to the above cells I'm gonna press Control Z to undo that so let's try copying this sales column here Control C and I'm gonna try going over here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste the values only that's the second paste option when you right click and paste and choose the second option values, you can see that over here, uh, the number 7600 has no formula in the formula bar. So this is not ideal when you wanna keep the formula. And of course, this sales is not shaded, it's not centered, it did not retain its, its uh, formatting. Let's press Control Z to undo. So we have this information copied here. This time, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna paste the formulas. So when you paste this, notice how the formula for the number 7600, which is the total sales, indeed does have the formula retained. Now when you look at the sales title here, it's not centered, it's not shaded, so the formatting is not copied over. Let's press Control Z to undo. This time I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna paste the formatting only, which is the second last option and you can see here that we don't have the actual data but we do have the formatting of the cells which was the nice shaded box as long as well as with the thick lines let's press Control Z so with the knowledge that we have thus far we should be able to rearrange these columns if you want to rearrange the sales and the ratings the average rating is 4.13 Let's work on that. Let's try copying this information here in the rating. I'm going to press Control C to copy. And we're going to paste over here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste the formulas only because I do want to retain the formulas. If I paste this, you can see the number 4.125 actually does have a nice formula here in the formula bar. And now that we've made a temporary copy of this information, I don't feel so bad about overwriting the information. So I'm gonna take the sales information, I'm gonna go Control C, which is copy, and I'm gonna right click here in C1. And I'm gonna paste the formulas only. So the formulas here would be pasted such that we have all the information as well as with the proper sum formula. In this case, I actually don't wanna have the decimals, so I'm gonna just uh, slap these two buttons here, the decrease decimal twice. And I'm going to go back to my rating information here. I'm going to press Control C to copy it. And I'm going to right click and paste the formulas only. So the reason why I pasted the formulas and not just the whole thing is because the formatting of this table is quite specific. This formatting here is such that the thick line is on the outsides only. And if I were to just copy and paste, let me just try that right now. If I were to copy this control C and right click, if I were to just paste the whole thing, you can see that this line here, the formatting of the outside line is also copied over. It's gonna ruin my table. So that's why I'm pasting the format, the formulas only. Press control Z to undo that. So now we've successfully swapped the sales and the rating. And of course, if you don't like the decimals there, you can always Go to the decrease decimal button here. And of course we can get rid of this temporary information by highlighting it and pressing delete. 
Now what about point number five, shifting data? If we were to copy this table by clicking and dragging and pressing Control C, what would happen if I tried to paste it right on top of this word Excel rocks? So let me try pasting it here in A8, right click. If we were to paste it, what happens is that it simply overwrites this information. So let's right click and cell A8. I'm going to paste it or press Control V to paste more quickly. And you can see my previous information is just obliterated. It's gone. So let's press Control Z to undo that. Let's try something else. Let's try right clicking and choosing insert copied cells. When we choose insert copied cells, a little insert paste pop up dialog box comes up, giving us the option of shifting the cells either down or to the right. Let's choose down and see what happens. Click OK. You can see that instead of overwriting this information, this information Excel 2013 rocks is pushed down. Finally, let's play with transposing data. I'm going to press Control Z to undo this. I'm going to just delete this. Let's copy the, these different directions, north, east, south, west. Control C to copy. If you have a nice long list of information running down a column, we can actually transpose it to become a row. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose the paste option called transpose. You can see here that we're transposing and this information looks a bit strange because of the, the formatting. So of course you can uh, do the same thing without the formatting. So let me just uh, try that again. So I'm gonna press Control Z to undo. I'm gonna right click, paste the values only. And now that we have the values only without the borders, I'm gonna recopy it by pressing Control C. And you can just transpose it over here in C8. Right click, I'm gonna transpose it and you can see it just shoots it towards the right. And similarly, you can recopy this transposed information that runs across the row and reflip it back to a, a column. I'm going to press Control C to copy, and I'm just going to just for fun, I'm going to create a new sheet. And in this new sheet, I'm going to right click and I'm going to transpose again. So we went from, let me just make this column a bit wider here. We went from row back to column. 